my goal this week is to literally get out of the house. As you can see, I have finally made it to the beach, to the boardwalk. Okay, we need to recharge our batteries so that we are ready to go back with our students. Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today is Monday, March 26, 2018, and it is my first day of spring break. So I am trying to do a little daily vlog of what I am doing on my spring break. And one of my goals for this week is to literally get out of the house. I live with depression and anxiety, and usually when it comes to having breaks like this, or in the summer, like last summer, I usually end up just staying home and not going out anywhere and not being very productive or as productive as I would like to be. So my goal this week is to literally get out of the house. And as you can tell, I'm in my car, so I did make it out of the house, even though it's pretty much 2 p.m. But I still made it out of the house. I stayed in the morning. I kind of woke up like around 7 or 8-ish, and then I went back to sleep. No, did I wake up? No, I think I kind of wake up like around nine and I kind of had something to eat and then I kind of went back to sleep and then I woke up around 12. <laughs> but um, now it's two o'clock and I am making it a point to be productive this week. So for today's to-do list, because I am giving myself a to-do list to do every day this week for spring break. So today on my to-do list is to one, eat a breakfast. And I did eat breakfast even though it wasn't the healthiest breakfast. It ended up being salami with Cuban crackers. <sighs> Oh boy, but um, I gotta do better than that. Tomorrow, I will try to eat a healthier breakfast. Usually when I'm at school, my breakfast at school is just a shake, a protein shake with a banana, and that actually holds me up until lunchtime. Breakfast is actually not my favorite meal of the day, mostly because of my food allergies and also because I just don't like most breakfast foods. It's not my favorite meal. So it's always a challenge for me, but I will try to eat a healthier breakfast tomorrow and I will let you know how that goes. The other item on my list for today was to call my current cable and Wi-Fi provider and cancel that service because I got a new service, way cheaper, and that's done. On my way to where I am now, I did that, I got on the phone and I called them. And my other item on my to-do list was to actually go and have a workout. So I'm actually at the parking lot of the gym right now. And this gym has an indoor track, which I'm going to use to do my run walk today. It is actually, like I said, the middle of the day, actually it's like 2 p.m. And the weather is really hot and the sun is shining. So I wanna avoid all the heat and all the possible sunburn to my skin. So I'm just gonna do it indoors and get my workout on. It's gonna be about a 35 minute workout. And I actually haven't worked out for about two weeks or so. I have still been losing weight on Weight Watchers and I've been doing really well, but I miss working out. I just, it's been busy these past two weeks. So now that I have some time, I'm gonna go ahead, do my workout, and then I'll catch up with you later. Oh, and one more thing before I go. So during my workout, I have my Bluetooth earbuds and what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be listening currently to The Life of Pi, which is a movie that I saw a couple of years ago, but I recently wanted to start reading the book. So I am reading The Life of Pi through Audible on my Bluetooth earbuds while I do my run, walk, workout. I have a timer that will tell me when to start running and when to start walking. So it's a run, walk, interval workout. So I have that along with my flip belt, which is where I put my uh, keys and my cell phone, which I am using to film this right now, so that they're out of the way and I can just have hands-free as I do my workout. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then I'll see you soon. my workout is complete I feel great now I'm gonna go home take a shower and go out with the family to see a movie which is around matinee time so I can't wait so I'll check back with you later hi everyone and welcome back to another day during my spring break as you will know um, and I'm gonna let you know I wasn't able to continue vlogging on Monday so you just saw the clip from Monday that I went to the gym after the gym but then I wanted to continue vlogging and it just didn't happen because life right 
Um, but I do want to catch you up and let you know what are the different things that I did do during my week. Right now is Friday, so I'm actually in the future, but I'm going to backtrack and tell you what I ended up doing for the rest of the day on Monday. And there is an ambulance driving by, so that's what you hear. But um, I'm at a local park, and that's one of the things that I wanted to do on today, Friday, which I'll talk about in a moment. But first, I want to finish off on what happened on Monday. So after my workout on Monday, I went home, I took a shower, I got ready, and I took the whole family here. absolutely love this theater i come here all the time especially because of reserve sitting and these are all luxury recliners that you can just put your feet up and lean back and have a great time watching the movie That is my favorite theater to go. I like how you can have reserved seating and that the luxury recliner seats are there where you can just kick your feet up and lay back down and enjoy the show. I also bring my blanket along with me so that it's nice and comfortable. So I took the whole family and the movie we ended up seeing was I Can Only Imagine. And if you haven't heard of it, you should definitely check out a trailer and you should probably go see it. It's a beautiful, beautiful movie about family, redemption, and forgiveness. So I love it. It's based on Mercy Me, one of their number one hit songs at the beginning of their musical career, I Can Only Imagine. So it's based on that, but how the lead singer got inspired you know, to write that song. What were his life events that led to that? So we ended up doing that. And after we watched the movie, I took my whole family to have dinner here.
So yeah, that's Sweet Tomatoes, and I love going there once in a while when I can. I love that it's an all-you-can-eat buffet for one price. They don't really weigh the salad, so you get as much as you want, and of course they have the soups and the pasta and some desserts as well. So that's where we ended up having dinner on Monday evening, and then after that we went home. So that's the end of Monday. So now that takes us to Tuesday. On Tuesday, I started off the day pretty early because I had to take my son for an appointment here. He needed a cleaning and I needed to make sure that that was done because he left for Boston on Wednesday, which I'll talk about in a moment. So after he had his dental cleaning, I then took him here. Yep, he needed to go for a much needed haircut and I'm so glad that I took him. And then after that, we were a little hungry. So we ended up going here. Yeah, so I love going to Whole Foods from time to time because they have that hot bar, which you just saw. They also have a cold bar where they have salads, but I really wanted to eat some hot food. And as you can see, they're international, so they have different countries that they feature in their hot bar. So I got that. But right next to Whole Foods was this store, which I ended up going for some much needed items for my son's trip and also for the house. So this is where I ended up going. Yep, Target, my dears. Which teacher doesn't sometimes or maybe always end up at Target during their spring break or any break or vacation? This teacher does. And if you're a teacher that does the same thing, leave a comment down below. After our whole morning routine of going to the dentist, the haircut place, Whole Foods and Target, we went home to relax for a bit. And then I went out to have a, my own doctor's appointment later on that afternoon. And after my doctor's appointment, I went to this place. And what I ended up buying here was ingredients for a very healthy meal. And I'll show you what those things were, which I bought there. So yeah, one of the things that I needed to make sure I bought was salmon and broccoli because that's my son's favorite meal and I wanted to really treat him on the night before his trip to Boston, which he would leave on Wednesday and not come back till Friday evening. So halfway during our spring break, he was gone away from me, but on a school trip, which is fine. He's having a great time. He's been sending me pictures and texting me. So I can't wait to see him tonight when I pick him up. But after the dinner and all that stuff, or before the dinner, I ended up playing video games with him because that was one of the things he really wanted to do with me before he left. So I played with him along with some of his friends. 
on our PS4s. I have one and he has one. So we played Fortnite and then we switched over and we played Overwatch. That was my first time playing Overwatch. And I'm trying to currently master Sombra. So that's the first character in Overwatch that I'm trying to play with. And according to his friends, they thought I was pretty good on my first try. We'll see how that continues to go. But that's basically what happened on Tuesday evening. So now that brings us to Wednesday. I got up really early in the morning and by early I mean like 4.30 in the morning because he needed to be at the airport, not 4.30. I actually woke up at 4 a.m. because he needed to be in the airport by 5. So I got him up, I got myself up, we packed him up in the car and then I took him very early to our local airport which I dropped him off. I stayed there for about an hour. I hugged him and kissed him goodbye and told him to have a great time and then I went back home. I wanted to do more with my day on Wednesday. It just didn't happen. I ended up just staying home and I know one of my goals this week for spring break was to try to get out of the house because usually um, I just end up staying home and only watching TV or just staying in my room the entire day and I wanted to make sure I did better this week, which I sort of did if I let you know what I ended up doing the rest of the week. But Wednesday was my day where I ended up staying at home after dropping him off at the airport. And then I just relaxed in bed, watch TV, watch YouTube, play some video games, rinse and repeat. That's what I ended up doing that day. I didn't go out the rest of the day, but hey, I'm not gonna call it like total loss. I did rest, which was important. So then that brings us up to Thursday, which was just yesterday. So yesterday I tried to get myself motivated to go to the gym again because I really wanted to make sure I stayed on top of it and I did it. So I ended up having to just get ready. I went to my brother's house. I picked him up. I picked up one of our friends and then we went back to this place. Yep, we went back to the Cinemark and we ended up watching this movie. I was so looking forward to watching Ready Player One ever since I read the book months and months ago. My brother has been after me for over a year to read the book and I finally picked it up around September. So I ended up reading that book in one day. It was that good. It just grabs you and you, and you just want to keep reading to find out what happens next. So I read it and I had high expectations for the movie. The movie was great. I'm not going to knock it down, but the book is 10 times better and isn't that the case usually when movies are made or inspired by books but i really enjoyed it and i'm actually going to see it for a second time probably this weekend if not later on with my son when he comes back so i'm looking forward to re-watching it and trying to notice more easter eggs that i may have not noticed the first time around so after that i just went back to my brother's place and we made dinner, I helped him make some turkey chili, which was delicious, and we ate that while watching an oldie but goodie, Beetlejuice. So I did that, and then I went home for the night. So that's my Thursday. So now we are all caught up with Monday through Thursday, and I'll just like to now take you along with what happened today, Friday, and what led me to the place where I am now, which is the park. So let me take you along on Friday. Good morning, everyone. So today it's Friday, uh, March 30th. Yes, today's Friday, March 30th. And this is officially like the last day of my spring break, but not really because I still have Saturday and Sunday. 
but it will be the last day for this particular teacher on spring break vlog right now i'm getting ready to go for my morning workout yay i haven't worked out since monday but i'm getting it done so today instead of going to the indoor track it's, it's still morning time it's 10 a.m right now i could go to the indoor track because the sun is already out and it's gonna be beating down on me but i really want to go run by the beach so i'm gonna go to the beach boardwalk and that's where i'm gonna do my run and while I get there, because it takes me about maybe 10 or 15 minutes to get there, I do have my healthy breakfast. Yay! Finally have my healthy breakfast. I have my protein shake, which is my ripple milk, and which is a plant-based milk that I get from Target. So I have a cup of that, and then I have another, about a cup of the stock cold brew coffee unsweetened. And I put a scoop of the clean protein from Vega Protein uh, chocolate flavor. And I also put two tablespoons of the PB powder with chocolate. It's really yummy so i'm going to be drinking that along with eating a banana so that is my healthy breakfast for today i'm going to be drinking it as i drive to the beach and do my work out there so i'll catch up with you later As you can see, I have finally made it to the beach, to the boardwalk, and I'm getting ready to go for my run, which is gonna be about a 35 minute run, and then I'm gonna head back home. But um, the day is very windy. It actually took me a little bit longer to get here because of traffic. It took me 30 minutes to get here when it usually takes me half the time. I just didn't know why there was so much traffic. Who knows? But, um, so yeah, I'm gonna get ready to go now. I have my flip belt, I have my Bluetooth, earbuds and I'm getting ready to go. So see you soon. So yeah, I just finished my workout and it's really hot. I had to take a break. You know, 25 minutes or so of my workout because it is so hot by just running in the heat was giving me nausea. So I took a break and now I just finished beautiful day but very hot for a run I needed to do it much earlier or maybe early in the evening so now I'm gonna get back in the car go home take a shower and take you along on my next adventure for today so I know it's after my workout and actually before I go home and shower I need to stop by Target so I'm taking you along with me and back to Target today after my workout all right I just shopped my little things at Target I just went in just for going in and I found a lot of new things so I will share those in a future Target haul video but for now I need to go home shower and go to my next destination all right so as you can see I'm all showered up I got ready and I'm heading out to my next destination which I'll show you in one moment so for today as part of trying to be out in nature and about I have come to a local park and I'm going to relax here for a moment and talk to you for a bit. So let me just find a spot to sit down and I'll get back to you. So as you can see from my background, I'm at a local park, like I just mentioned, and I can't wait to just sit here and read a little bit and doodle and just relax because that's what we need to do during spring breaks, right? We need to recharge our batteries so that we are ready to go back with our students and focus on getting instruction completed and meeting those standards and all that jazz. So yeah, so let me sit down and have a nice relaxing time. All right, so as you can see, we are now at the park. I just had a deep breath of fresh air out in nature. It just makes me so happy and elated, and it's just what I need. Talk about self-care. And talking about self-care, this week I have been listening to a book on Audible, and I've been listening to it for a couple of weeks now, but I finally finished it today, The Life of Pi. So let me get the book right now. 
So yeah, I have been reading The Life of Pi and I had seen the movie when it came out years ago. It came out in 2012. I love the movie. I had never read the book, but recently I started thinking, I would like to read this book. So I did purchase it on Audible. I started listening to it like about two weeks ago on my drive to Disney a couple of weekends ago. And it was amazing to just be submerged into the story and to finally finish it today. And the story is so good that I ended up purchasing the book on Amazon because it is now one of my favorite books. It is pretty difficult in some parts to listen to or read to because of what the main character had to endure while he was lost at sea. But it is a story of remarkable lessons and interesting themes. So I really, if you haven't read it, I absolutely recommend it. And now what I'm going to do, since I just finished the book today, um, after I'm here at the park, I'm going to go to my brother's house. So I'm just going to relax at his house until it's time to pick up my son from the airport. And I'm going to rewatch the movie with the book fresh in my mind. I want to also show you two more books that I purchased along with The Life of Pi. This one came highly recommended from a couple of teachers on Instagram. This is Turtles All the Way Down by John Green. And what inspired me to uh, purchase this book and start reading it is the themes and what it deals with. So I will let you know more what I think about this book as I read it. And another book that I purchased from Read Like a Teacher, Christina at Read Like a Teacher always has a book of the month that she recommends for teachers to read and then they um, and then everyone has a book talk on her Instagram. So the one that was from last month and I hadn't read it, not last month, this month, March, is Happy Teachers Change the World. So I ended up and I purchased it. So when I get a chance, I will be reading through it and maybe I'll let you know in a future video what I think of it. Now I need to purchase the one for April, which she just posted this week. So I'll be getting that one as well and just adding it to my books. I love books. I am surrounded by books. I may have too many books. I feel like sometimes I'm in competition with the library. But anyway, so those are the books that I purchased. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to relax a little bit longer here at the park. I'm going to take out my sketchbook, which let me show you a moment. Here is my sketchbook. I'm going to take this out. I'm going to look around in nature and I'm just going to do some sketches and relax here for a bit before I go on my next adventure, which I'll let you know in a few seconds for you. Uh, all right, so let me get to relaxing a little bit longer here at this beautiful park and I'll catch up with you soon. So this is a quick sketch that I just made. I mean, it's not my best. Um, I haven't drawn in a while. And of course I need to finish it, but it's basically based on my view of what I'm currently seeing right now as I'm sitting here on this bench in the park, listening to the birds chirping and just feeling the breeze that's blowing gently around me. It's very relaxing. So because my phone is running low on battery, I'm actually going to stop filming right now and I'll catch up with you soon. And I just want to say that this park was not my first choice for today on my day off. I actually wanted to go to these Japanese gardens that are not too far from me, but they're actually an hour away. So by the time I noticed the time, I wasn't going to have enough time to get there and enjoy it. So I might go tomorrow. If I do go tomorrow, that video will be on a separate vlog of my experience going there the first time. Today's video will end today. It is a Monday through Friday video as my week vlog or my teacher and spring break vlog. So I will let you know if I go to the Japanese gardens tomorrow or not, or maybe I'll leave it for a future date. So right now I want to get closer to the water to kind of do a couple of video clips of the water before I leave and then I'll catch up with you later.
right, so now I'm back in the car and I'm actually gonna go to my next destination before I go to my brother's house. And my next destination is Walmart. I'm actually gonna go there to film a shop with me video. You won't see that in this video. That will be a separate video, but that's where I'm headed to there now. And then I'll catch up with you after I'm done with that. All right, so I just finished my Walmart shop with me video, which you'll see in a separate video like I previously mentioned. Now I'm getting ready to go to my brother's house. But before I do, I gotta go to Publix to buy some ingredients because I'm craving some ham and cheese wraps. So I'm gonna buy the ingredients at Publix and make them at his house. So I'll catch up with you soon. All right, just finished shopping at Publix and now I'm just gonna head over to my brother's house. Look at that gorgeous full moon. Tomorrow we're gonna have the second blue moon of this year, March 31st. How beautiful is that? All right, I just made it to my brother's house and this is actually where I'm going to end this week's Teacher on Spring Break vlog. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I just have to later on, like in three hours, go to the airport to pick up my son, but I don't think I'm gonna vlog that. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. So I'll see you next week. If you like this video, please hit the like button, leave a comment down below. Let me know any thoughts that you've had about my teacher on spring break or anything you would like to ask me or tell me. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing and hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you so much for coming along with me this week and I can't wait to see you, like I said, again next week. Have a beautiful, magical day and don't forget to smile.